taking a walk down our neighborhood now to Cebu Mart, which for some reason I call Binko, and I think it has something to do with playing Grand Theft Auto, the game. But it's Cebu Mart, because the girls want ice cream. But yeah, this is our neighborhood, or part of it, and as you can see by that sky, that we might have rain or thunder coming this evening. But it feels great out. It's not too hot. Great time to be out for a walk. And uh, actually just enjoy the bintang as well. So it's a really great night here in Denpasar. Here we are, Cebu Mart. I want you guys to see a really cool delivery vehicle. So as you can tell, all that can be hauled from a scooter. Sorry, man. Thank you. Isn't that pretty badass? A scooter can take all that stuff around. That's how they do it here. Efficient. All right. Now we walk back home to the apartment. Everybody's looking at me for filming. So now we're back up on our third floor ledge by our apartment. And a quick look at the sunset and the sky before we head right back out again only this time on the scooter so we can get dinner ingredients such a great neighborhood to live in So now we're out for the evening ride to get dinner ingredients and we just stopped at the local chicken cellar and we got pieces of her very last chicken for the night which was killed today and it's going to be delicious and this is mama's favorite or one of her favorite uh, vegetable stores so we stop here a lot and that lady in there is really really nice and every time she sees me she's really really nice to me. And uh, yeah, this is another one of the great places. And then across the street, over here, uh, we occasionally use that copy store if we need anything done with printing or copying or anything like that. And there, you can barely see it, but that's one of the prayer trees for the Hindus. But yeah, it's a great night out to be riding. We saw one lightning flash already, but no thunder, so. On where do we go? Okay, so on our way now to the next stop on this dinner ingredients run. I think Mama's got all her ingredients for tonight, but we might just pick up a little fried snack or something like that. I actually had a, a bin tang and a bali high, so kind of need a little fried snack to soak it up while Mama cooks. But yeah, this is uh, this is our neighborhood. Oh, here we go. We found a place right here with little fried snacks, just like that. And so we're going to get a little bit of fried snacks, which will probably cost about 5,000 rupiah, which is 50 cents, not even 50 cents. All right, so back from the dinner ride, and I want to show you this so you guys understand. In here, there's two big fried pieces that have tofu and vegetables in it, and then there's... There was three, I already ate two of them, but there was three of the ones that look like that patty right there, like a fried little patty, and it has, you know, corn and other vegetables and whatnot. Anyway, this whole bag, and there's a couple of chilies in there, this whole bag, uh, which was more full because I ate some, was 5,000 rupiah, and that really equals about 40 cents. So, if you're not picky, and you like to try new foods and whatnot, and you want to try to live in Indonesia, um, you know, this, this could fill you up for a lunch if you were so inclined for 40 cents. Okay, so now the girls are having fun with the new Christmas lights we got, and that'll be their project for the rest of the night, so. Can you believe 350,000 rupiah at the mall, but when you know local sellers and you can bargain with them and barter with them, we got it for 90,000 rupiah. So Merry Christmas, everyone. 